Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's time for the grand final here at EGL 15. And it's been a long journey so far, but we will be seeing Infused going up against Epsilon. So much on the line here for these two teams. But I'm Brycey, and joining me to bring you all the action for this grand final is Tan. Thank you very much, Brycey. I am so excited for this one. Not necessarily the final a lot of people would have predicted. No. Uh, I, I think it was one of those ones that could definitely potentially have happened. But everyone was probably putting Millennium in there with Infused. Epsilon upsetting the odds slightly here. Nobody really expected them to beat Millennium, but Millennium no. didn't look necessarily as good as... No, they really you know, didn't. Um, and it's very curious as how as this all came down. Do. Yeah. Um, as you can see, Epsilon ended up winning that game, and it went right down to the wire. It was a game five, and I think it ended up 6-4 between those two squads. But certainly a game that none of us would have predicted had gone that way. I'll be honest with you, though. I was talk talking to somebody earlier, and I said, you know, the top three teams here, in my opinion, are Infused, Millennium, and Epsilon. I'm kind of curious to see how they all get on, and... There's a little bit of a difference in play style between some of these teams. I do think right now there's a, a little bit of a chemistry issue maybe with the Millennium. They play very individually. Um, and I'm, some, I'm sure that's something they're going to analyze and overanalyze um, tonight as well when they've got time to. Um, but you know what? Epsilon really brought the fire. They went 2-0 up, almost threw it away, though. Ended up going yeah. to match number five. But they now meet Team Infused, a team who so far have looked untouchable. Yeah, they've lost one map all weekend, and that was just a Team Orbit and a Search and Destroy. But... Their last search and destroy, they played against Splice. They looked very strong. I think that was a 6-1 or a 6-2 yeah. in the end. But the whole series against Splice, I casted it with uh, Jonas. And wow, they just look so strong in every single department. Every single one of them can step up to the plate when need be. Uh, <laughs> the main guy for me, though, you know exactly who I'm going to say. Nope. You don't? No. Well, what I am going to say <laughs> is zero. I mean, every single game we see oh, no, him I, come I needs Very, to. very talented. Very, very talented. It's very interesting. I mean, PD for me has also been a very big factor. I mean, when we get to the sta stage of a tournament, almost every single one of them has done fantastic yeah. work. Same on the side of Epsilon, who you can currently see on the screen now as well. Of course, the line up there, Moose, Reedy, Joe, and Rated. Some of them a little bit controversial figures in the scene at the moment, yeah. but <laughs> to them, winning is winning, and everything else doesn't matter. Yeah, and I'm going to touch on the PD thing. I think he has been very consistent, if anything. I don't, I don't think he has maybe looked as flashy and exciting as Zero, but he's always putting in, you just see the your little two-piece coming in here. Not, you never really see anything insane, but it's always the same. Uh, I don't know, I think, I think Urban's well, been more I, I disagree with you there. I think Urban's been more influential than you give him credit for. I think the strength oh, of Infuse is actually the fact that all of them are very, very good and yep. very solid at what they do. That is a chemistry team through and through. They've been together for a long time. They rely on each other. They actually all get on as well, which is actually quite rare in a team for a yeah. teammates to also be very good friends for that long. I mean, don't get me wrong. PD is a phenomenal player, but I think he's just been at a consistent level all weekend, doing the business that he yeah. needs to do, playing very, very well. I just feel as if zero is sort of stood out a little bit more for me. But you're allowed your opinion. You're allowed to be wrong. Even, okay. even when it's wrong, it's okay, yeah. Tom. Um, but now, I, I think, it, like I said, I think the strength of this team comes through its chemistry. The other side, though, I actually think a little bit of a duo ship going on here. You've got to remember, like, there's, there's Rated and Reedy, uh, sometimes controversial figures, <laughs> is what I was kind of getting there, maybe yeah. Rated more than Reedy. A um, lot of fire, a lot of passion. The emotions certainly do run high in those two. They uh, speak their mind. Yeah, yeah. But however, on the other side, you've got Joe, who's probably one of the kind of the most shyest in terms of kind of being in the media. Does he speak? I, I, I was, I'm not he, sure. he is quite quiet when it comes to it. As far as I know from what I've heard from the pros before, well, you know, when he, he's alone or in a friendly atmosphere, he's still very talkative here, but you always yeah. hear a lot of him actually going kind of forward into the game. And at the very end, Moose, who, who's still kind of on that redemption pass, you remember he didn't have a great last six months of the last no, game. No. But from what I've seen of him so far, Looks phenomenal. Very, very and this will certainly be a redemption for him. And sitting there going, you know what? I had a blip, I got hated by a lot of people, but it doesn't matter. It's not important. Well, we're going to have a look at the maps infused taken on Epsilon here. We'll just run through these. Evac Hardpoint will be the first one. Britain Search and Destroy, second, third, Breach Uplink. And if we need them, which I think we might, Stronghold Capture the, Stronghold? <laughs> Stronghold capture the Flag, Infection, Search and Destroy to close things out. I'm saying this is going to go to a fifth map. I, I, I really do think... Infused have looked phenomenal all weekend. I'm, I, I don't know. So there's, there's a question for me, oh, right, between on. these two squads, right? So I kind of liken <coughs> Splice and Infused to playing very similar. They do like a, a, a little bit higher tempo yeah. than Epsilon and Millennium. Now, obviously, we just saw both those games from uh, both halves. So this, for me, pretty much comes down to counter of play style. I think both teams are incredibly talented. 
I just think maybe Infuse play at a higher tempo. Now, whether or not that will work against Epsilon, who so far have looked rock solid. Yeah. Um, and Solid's also, a good word for and they're also a very much a hype team, such as the guy, beg pardon, such as the guys actually on um, Infuse as well. But they have their coach to bring them the hype. The yeah. guys on Epsilon actually do it themselves. So I, I'm interested to see how it ends up going here. You will certainly hear some noise coming through our mics. These are very loud teams. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to ask you before we go on the band protect Seven. for the. For before we go into the ban and protect for the first map, what is your prediction for this series? 